pearl tube, tie it off, and there. I've just knitted my very first sweater, and it's for you, Jorge. Go look! <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> I'm glad you like it, boy. Look, it matches the one Abuela made for me. <gasps> Come on, Mom said she'd take us over to Abuela's. I want to show her your sweater. Ay, qué bueno, Nina, good job. Qué bonita, granddaughter. How pretty. Your knitting is excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Abuela. But I couldn't have done it without you. You're a great knitting teacher. Gracias. De nada. Jorge and I are going to wear our matching sweaters for the family picture tonight. Ay, you will look so beautiful. And you will be very handsome. Hey, Clifford! Jorge! Wow, Jorge! Great sweater! Nina knitted it for me so we can wear matching sweaters for our family picture tonight. And I bet it keeps you warm, too. Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, now look at me from this side. Am I still very handsome? <laughs> you look great on both sides, Jorge. But the real question is, can you run in it? <gasps> can I run in it? Just watch me! Hey, hey! Wait for me! Can't catch me! Bet I can! I thought I told you this is a no puppy playing zone. Oh, sorry, Daffodil. <clears throat> yeah, we were so busy playing, we forgot. Well, okay. Wow, that is a great looking sweater, Jorge. Is it new? Oh, brand new. Nina's grandmother said the sweater made me look very handsome. Jorge, if you're gonna wear your new sweater for something special later, maybe you shouldn't wear it to play in now. Gee, I never thought of that. Yeah, it could get dirty or something, Jorge. No, oh, I won't get it dirty. Come on, let's go play! Okay, I'm coming! I sense a disaster coming on. Whoa! I repeat, this is a no puppy playing zone! Uh-oh. Did I hear something rip? No, oh, it was just my sweater. I'm okay. You might be okay, but from the sound of that rip, I don't think your sweater is. Oh, I don't either. Oh, it's just a tiny hole. You can barely see it. Come on, let's keep playing, buddy. With your toys! Whoopee! Uh, uh, Jorge, are you sure you don't want to take off your new sweater first? Huh? Oh, sure I'm sure, Clifford. So stop worrying, buddy. Uh, and start playing! Yes! I found it! Uh-oh. I think I kind of, sort of, tore it a little more. I'd say a lot more. Well, it is a pretty big hole. But, guys, I have to wear this for our family picture tonight. Oh, Nina is going to be so disappointed in me. Jorge! Clifford! I can't wait to show you the sweater I knitted for Jorge. It matches the sweater my abuela knitted for me. Hello, you two. Where's Jorge? Jorge? Jorge! There you are, boy. Come on out and show Emily Elizabeth your new sweater. <laughs> Jorge looks great, Nina. But he sure has a funny way of showing off his sweater. Come on, Jorge. Come closer. What's he doing now? 
I guess it's just Jorge's way of modeling? Wow! You did a great job, Nina! Thanks. <laughs> Or, hey, you silly puppy. <laughs> Gee, do you think you could teach me how to knit? Sure. Great. But I have an even better idea. Let's ask my abuela to teach you. She's over at my house right now. Thanks, Nina. You can come out now, Jorge. They're gone. Ooh, that was close. Well, why didn't you show Nina the hole in your sweater? Well, I wanted to. I really did. I, I... I just couldn't. I didn't want to make her feel bad. She worked so hard on that sweater. Yeah, I wouldn't want to make Emily Elizabeth feel bad either. But you're supposed to wear that sweater for your family picture tonight. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Will you guys help me think of something? <laughs> of course we'll help you. Great! How? Yeah, how, Clifford? Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, well, I remember that once Emily Elizabeth tore her favorite shorts. Her mom did something to them, and the hole went away. And? Well, if we find those shorts, we can see how her mom fixed them, and then we can do the same thing to Jorge's sweater. Sounds good to me, buddy. Now, where are those shorts? Up there. Up there? How are we gonna get up there? <sighs> I had to ask. Oh, hurry, Clifford. I'm getting squished. <sighs> there! <sighs> I made it. <sighs> huh, there they are. Daffodil, are you in there? Where else would I be? Hmm, it looks like Emily Elizabeth's mom put a patch over the rip in her shorts. So we can put a patch over the rip in my sweater. Right! Right! Wrong! Yeah. Wrong? We don't have anything to use as a patch. Oh, right. Oh, wait a minute. I have a big idea. We can use my sock spider. I bet it'll make a great patch. Well, how does it look? Does it hide the hole? It sure does. Now we just need something to hide the sock spider. Yeah, Daffodil's right. The sock spider's too big. We need a smaller patch. Oh, hey, how about my slipper? Well, that's a little better. I guess. Try again. Uh, a carrot? Uh-uh. Okay, since we can't patch it, and since we still need to find a way to fix my sweater, we still have to come up with a new little plan. Make that a new big plan. Why? My sweater! <sighs> well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. You're not gonna stand on my head again, are you? No, Daffodil. I'm gonna show Nina the rip in my sweater like I should have done in the first place. We'll, we'll go with you! So this is why Jorge was acting so funny. Can we fix it? Of course, Nina. We just have to re-knit the part that's torn. That's the only way to fix it. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be okay, boy. I wish you would have come to me earlier, but I'm glad you decided to show me after all. Now Abuela can fix it, and it'll be good as new. Oh, <laughs> oh Jorge. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, everybody, on the count of three, say cheese. One, two, three. Cheese! Come on, let's go play. Oops, I almost forgot. No more playing in my brand new sweater. I want to keep it nice. Thank you, Jorge. Ruff.